Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Pat Taste Performance. <clears throat> I told you, I'm going to be going out and getting an Arians. So, I'm on my way to uh, Franklin Square. It's a 40 minute trip each way. I'm in the Hoopty. Um, I could care less. Uh, gas mileage isn't a thing. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it's an 824. And I said in my other video, um, it's an Arians. You just, you just can't pass it up. I've done two of these machines over already and uh, very profitable. So we agreed to 50 bucks and I mean I haggled them down to a little bit more and he's gonna try to throw in a couple other things but you know we'll see. I honestly I don't have any interest in you want to throw me like a rototiller and all this stuff. I don't have any interest in that. Uh, one because honestly the rototiller seizing you know has passed here you know, on Long Island, per se. Everybody's gardens are in order. You know, I mean, the only time you probably use a rototiller now is if you're trying to establish a new garden. But, you know, those are few and far and in between. Um, yeah, so unless it's something crazy, you know, I'll say yes and I'll agree to the 50 bucks. I mean, there's nothing wrong with trying to hang a little bit more. The guy's moving. So he says if, if no one bought it, he would just take it with him. Well, I'm gonna buy it. Um, Sorry, I'm driving. So, like I said, love snow blowers. I sold the Hemi lawn boy today. Uh, wild. It's 100 degrees today. It's insane the whole week. And where we live, you know, they're they're predicting power outages because everybody's going to be running the AC and stuff like that. We'll be fine. We'll survive. Some people won't. So, um, yeah, like I said, there's there's a lot of cool things you can do to snow blowers to increase value and then further justify your price so you know this video series you know hopefully the engine's good you know i won't know until i get there i mean i'm driving all the way out there so i mean i'm gonna see if it has compression and then you know it doesn't run flat out so it doesn't make a difference um you know i know arians like the back of my hand and like i said you know arians knows what you know i do and you know me and my wife will you know, my wife is my partner per se. You know, what both what we do for the brand. And you know how that came about is, you know, I sell a lot of snow blowers. There's no doubt about it. I sell a lot. And you know, I it's not like going more season where you have to buy a lot and grind it out, grind snow blowers, you buy buy low, sell high, it's in demand. Especially in Arians. You know, what is your cheapest Arians? Like a 24 inch is like 800 bucks. You know what I mean? then you modify the impeller then you throw tire chains at your traction package and you start building the value of the machine and then plus you know what it's an 824 you will not get that type of power on a snowblower and believe it or not here i've been looking for one i found one but it was way too beat up arians even makes an 1124 it's crazy 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 but uh, at the stage that I found that it, it was still salvageable, but the guy just wanted too much. And you know, and he was a flipper like me. Uh, he ended up buying it from the town. And you know, to stop them from blowing snow at a certain speed, you know, they, they messed with the gears and, and the housing and everything. It was just, nah, I'm good, I'm good. Um, so I had to pass on that. If anybody sees an 1124, let me know. I'm like opening game because then that'll be a freaking great, you know, machine. And then if the time ever comes with it, the comes and needs to be swapped out, we could Hemi 420 CC that. I'll maybe even get cocky and throw a V twin on there. That's probably going to be my next one off build. I'm going to throw a V twin on Snowblow. But, um, so how it came about that Aaron's those what, you know, me and my wife do is that, you know, I'll sell you any Snowblow, right? But my favorite Snowblow. Hands down, without a doubt, is Arians. And I tell people that because if I get an Arians, there's a big price difference from an Arians to a Craftsman or whatever. So, believe it or not, a guy stopped by the house and, you know, I didn't have anything for him. So, took his number down, came up with a price point and what his expectations were. And I usually, you know, don't do stuff like that. Because it really doesn't work out. But 
doesn't matter if it's the right price, whether you want it or not. Like, I'm gonna buy it. I'm not gonna pay a little bit more unless you give me, you know, a deposit, which has happened. You give me a deposit, I'll go run out, pick it, I'll fix it, I'll flip it. See you later, love you, bye. So, I ended up getting an 826. I dragged out of the basement in the city for 50 bucks. Everything was melted because they kept it in there. They have like a laundry, you know, dryer room. They kept it in there. So all the plastics were melted. So it really wasn't a terrible flip. You know what I mean? Just little plastic pieces. Had to put a coil on it because the rats chewed it out. You know, new carburetor, new belts, you know, triple belt conversion on it because that machine, I was able to do it. So, sold to the guy. This guy was like ecstatic the first time he used it. He was so beyond happy. He ended up getting in contact with Arians and says, hey, you know, there's a kid working out of his garage and, you know, he's, he's fixing and flipping, but he is doing phenomenal things, you know, for the brand. You know, you guys, like, there's no other way. And so he ended up passing on my information to Arians, and Arians got in contact with us. And then, you know, we formed, you know, a relationship, you know, per se. I am not sponsored by them. I mean, I don't want to, you know, give that idea. But, you know, like I said, just a brand preference. You know, it's a good, solid, made in the USA machine. You know, now the newer machines, it's very hard to do that and stay competitive. Especially since the Tecumseh went out of big business. There goes your USA made engine. So now every engine is Chinese, but still the core, the foundation of the machine is just, you know, rock solid. And uh, like I said, I run a bunch of 1128s. I have a triple belted 926. Um, I have a smaller hemi swapped one just because, I don't know, like I said, our, our collection is always growing and um, never shrinks. If it does shrink, it's because somebody made me an offer I couldn't refuse. And then I just, I get something else. I mean, that that's how it works. So uh, it's probably pretty hard to see me because it's nighttime. Let's see, does this help? Yeah, it's nighttime. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, sleep is optional. Sleep when I'm dead. When the price is right, you know, why not? I mean, today was a good day. Had to deliver the Hemi Snowblower. I sold another Red Max. Um, it's been it's been great. I picked up two lawn mowers today. Um, can't do anything with them because I said we still have to wait for the driveway. So tomorrow we're supposed to be able, you know, we're going to be good to go. Uh, so let's just see. Hopefully the driveway is good and we can go back to you know the ground the pound and making videos. So I mean, when I get home tomorrow, I got to bang out a few lawn mowers. I don't know if I'm just going to put them up. You know, I've done these already for you guys. Maybe I'll just do, you know, just me hustling and bustling and see how I roll, you know, and have my day-to-day -day operations per se. And then I definitely think my next build is is going to be this Arians, you know, 824. I know I got that 929 for free, um, but that 824 I could, you know, bang out. Hopefully within a reasonable amount of time, I could slap that thing in storage. Craftsman 929, that's a little too big for me to slap into storage. I'm going to have to eat the space. No big deal. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit when I pick up this thing. Alright, guys, remember this bad boy? My Hemi powered one boy two stage snowblower. It is probably going to be one of the hottest weeks between 90, today was like 95. And I was working outside of my job, so a little bit over 100 degrees on the pavement. Just sold this freaking snowblower. 450 bucks off the of Craigslist. And uh, I got to deliver it about 10 minutes away. So if you guys remember this build, actually, it's in my intro, the pictures of this build. This build got a little bit out of hand. Um, my fault. I busted the uh, engine pulley and then also the auger pulley, which equated to an extra 90 bucks in parts. So my profit on this is not what it should be. And I really wanted five for it, but I'm not gonna, you know, hold on to something for 50 bucks. It doesn't take up a lot of space. 
Um, believe it or not, the guy was really excited to get it. He said he did his research. I don't know what kind of research he did. You know, this is a custom one-off build. Uh, he says he had to have it. Uh, he did pull up in a Hemi Charger, which is the reason why I'm delivering it. But uh, yeah, tomorrow we should be able to be on my driveway. You know, pulling the cars and stuff like that. So we're gonna be ripping a norm. All right, so uh, can't believe this, man. Snowblowers in the summer. All right, guys, we are back. I'm sorry, we are not shooting in 4K today because yesterday when I was doing my uh, A Day in the Life of Small Engine Mechanic run around, I actually broke my GoPro stand. I don't know if you guys, it's hard to tell. Uh, I'm supposed to get a big, heavy storm. And while I was working, I don't know if you see me point the camera to it, there was thunder in the background, no rain yet. So uh, actually when I started to clean up, thunder and lightning came and I was kind of freaking out a little bit. But uh, anyway, I told you guys um, I wasn't going to take anything else but the Aryans. I had zero interest in anything else. But the guy suckered me in. I ended up getting this Troy built pony rototel. There's this five horsepower Briggs and Stratton. Um, he's a no, as a straight man, remember that, I'm straight, married, I'm sorry, as a married man, I'll edit that out. Um, this is cute. It's a cute little machine, doesn't take up a lot of space. We have the wheel drive lever that seems to work. See what's going on there? Okay. I think this is to set the depth of the tons. This is loose and works, but the time depth doesn't change, I guess. I don't know what this is. I'm going to have to do some research. Um, my father's really into rototillers. I don't know if he's ever come across a pony. We have the throttle lever, which is there, but not hooked up. Okay. He says this thing runs off ether. So here is, you know, what's What's left, it's loose. I guess he tried to clean it up. I do have the gas tank and the uh, air filter. Yeah, well, it's in there. I locked my car. Uh, I also have this too. Four cycle 5.5 .5 HP Toro. Does this have electric start? No, it does not have the electric start. It's missing the uh, primer bulb. I'm almost positive I have another one of these. No, it's all right. So I do have one, but it's newer than this one. A person actually dropped off something identical this to me to fix, uh, but it caught on fire. They failed to tell me that. So uh, when they brought it here, kind of told them you're out of your mind. And they just ended up leaving. Does this work? Yep, that works. Okay. And of course we have the Arians. I'm not going to go over this. I'm going to wait till... Uh, my GoPro comes in and I guess we'll start the part one on this, on this beautiful icon of a machine. So pretty cool, as you guys see it's starting to rain. So uh, I am just going to, you know what, let me just see. Let me see if this thing runs off people. Let's see if this guy said it's true. I think cause you know, this thing is, this thing's gonna need a full restoration. I'm absolutely not afraid of that. You guys know that. It just comes down to time. So I just might put this into storage and then uh, just prep. And then just keep soaking everything. Oh shit. He wasn't lying. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna put this into storage. See, so yeah, the thing is, and I'm just gonna start soaking everything, everything in screws. So let's see what we have here. It's missing the cover. This is a Tecumseh. I thought this was newer. Let's see what we got for that. Man, Mother Nature's just not letting up today. You know, this thing is going to need some paint work, too. Like I said, I'm just using my phone. So just excuse me. Get a good look at this, because I'm going to be power washing this today anyway. Got to clean this up. This thing's nasty. 
All this stuff is nasty. All right, guys, that's a wrap today. Tomorrow is my only day off. So, uh, we'll going to do a long care vlog and put some Milo down too as well. And, uh, be rocking a wrench in tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to start with this. And remember I said I'd do a snow commander video. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Alright guys, if you found this video entertaining, please smash that like button, please smash that subscribe button. And guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pate's Performance.